All right, we are, <laughs> I don't know how to start this up, but we are playing Full Metal Alchemist 3. And if you're wondering what's happening here, I have multiple save files. I have played this game so many times. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is in Japanese, therefore, I'm going to have to explain the story. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we're just walking through town, you know, enjoying everything. And then all of a sudden, things go wrong, because why not? <laughs> yeah. This is going to be great. Like, I don't know, this game is actually really fun. <laughs> Froze. Red. We got the Iceman up in here. But that ain't it. Yeah, we got, we got the, oh, holy crap. Okay, that was very loud, that cutscene. I hope I balanced the audio correctly. Please tell me I did. <laughs> like, I was watching that and the cutscene audio The cutscene audio was literally spiking above me and I, you know, I tried to fix that. I may not be doing a good job at it. We're looking for Winry because we don't know where she at. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, bro, what if we check, like, this one area or something like that? Like... <laughs> maybe Winry's, like, I don't know, doing something at, like, the, the repair shop or some crap. I mean, she ain't got a repair shop, but you know what I mean? She's probably buying some parts or something. <laughs> He's just like, whatever, let's just keep going. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what they're saying. But it's something like that. But anyway. But anyway, if we talk to one of these guys, they're gonna give us some 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 something, you know. It's gonna give us an item. So you wanna talk to these people when you get here. You also wanna check behind any cars to make sure that you know. Oh wait, yep, I got all my weapons already. That's nice. Alrighty. We are all set. But yeah, there's, there's gonna be some stuff here. And if it's not here, it's in another area. Because, look, you're gonna revisit this place. 
you're gonna revisit this place, I think, twice in the game. And yet, yeah, item spawns are sort of, they're not randomized, but they're different. So it's like, you know, you gotta search the area just to make sure. Well, if you're me, that is, it's probably, your, you know, your first playthrough, you'll most likely just run into this stuff. It's, it's pretty easy to do that. It's actually pretty easy to just run into this stuff. But anyway, let's just save here, because <laughs> why not? But really, just be sure to talk to everyone. That's really my advice for this game. <laughs> there we go, we got our first item. Oof. Oh, by the way, this game is two player, so if you got friends um, who are around that you could actually do this with, I highly recommend it. Let me lower that audio a bit more because I feel like it's still drowning me out somewhat. But anyway, we are going to be good. Yeah. Here we go, them boys. They about to, they about to jack us up. But you know what happens. You know what happens when they mess with us. Oh wait, can I equip my items? Hey, hey oh crap! I gotta get back into the game, bro. Oh crap, I gotta remember. Ooh. There we go. Or you can just cheese them with this, this button combination, but you don't wanna do that. You know, you don't wanna rely on that. What you wanna do is dodge on time, like this. You wanna dodge accordingly. Now, I'm gonna check my items real quick to see if I have any. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is my health, and below that has to be my attack. So, one thing that I... Aw, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna set my equipment off screen, most likely. Because I... No, 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 screw it, screw it, screw it. I'm not gonna set my equipment off screen. Let me see. I know exactly which item I'm going to use because there is one that gives me, let's see, where is it? This will drop more items if I kill people. And I wanna say this will bring up my stats a lot, but I know, I know that there's a stronger item here that I can use to boost my stats up. Because this, I don't really trust that yet. There we go. <laughs> I'm literally running through this like it's a tutorial, even though it's not, well, it's technically a tutorial, but not the type of tutorial that I am giving out right now. Oh shoot, let me, I am in, <laughs> I am being so dumb right now. Let me heal up. There we go. Oh yeah. Just like in the other games, you can revive you can revive Alphonse like easily. Oh shoot. You know what? It's a good thing they're dropping items here so I can just like heal whenever I want. Like, seriously, I am doing a horrible job here and I'm like on the first fight of the game too. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, you know. I'm not garbage. I can win this easily, bro. <laughs> what am I doing? I can just kick him while he's down. <laughs> I'm being so stupid right now, but... Oh my god. Ah! 
I went the wrong way. We're nine minutes in. I'm gonna have to cut this. I'm gonna have to cut this down heavily because I just... Oof, I wasted so much time on that one fight. It's not even funny. Okay, so what you want to do to counter these guys with the cannons, you just want to roll around all over the place and dodge. Same with him. Same with him. Just dodge. Oh my god, I am so stupid. See, this is why I need healing items. This is why I need healing items. Because whenever I, like, get out of the groove of these games, this happens to me. Like, I just start screwing up and making stupid mistakes all the time. But yeah, basically you can command, you know, you can command Alphonse to just, like, stand there, do nothing. Or you can command him to fight people. And 9 times out of 10, you want him fighting people because <laughs> he can handle stuff in the background. Let me, let me just make these real quick. mm mm, -mm. Ooh. I know there's one I know there's one thing that I always did. I just gotta remember what it was. Okay. Now let me there we go. Open that. There is something up there. I'm gonna need you to get that for me. Now let me get over here and grab this item before it goes away. Da -ba -da 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 -da. Now, there's one thing I wanna show you, but I'm not gonna show it yet. Because there's gonna be a section in here where, you know, they want you to do it. Fire. Stop, stop, Windows, Windows 8, I don't want you checking for updates, and this child is stuck behind a wall of fire, so guess who's gonna have to do that? <laughs> now, Ed is obviously not fireproof, so this should be an obvious answer, right? <laughs> Yes, it is him. He is the one who was to save this child. <laughs> the Tin Man himself. Oh my god, <laughs> they're just scared of him. <laughs> it's it's just funny how these interactions go. It's just, I don't know, I like this game a lot. <laughs> I actually do. Like, it feels great playing this again, finally, after the long wait that I put everyone through. Like, yes, I am playing this, finally, on my channel. <laughs> But yeah, we're just gonna make this fire hydrant so we can put out the fire. And from there, we will head on. By the way, this game is fully voiced. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know they boasted this in, like, Fumaro Alchemist 2 as well, but the game is actually fully voiced. 
completely. So, yeah, I think they did that to... I want to say they, they did that to make up for, you know, Full Metal Alchemist 1 and how text-heavy it was, with zero voice acting, by the way. Wait, what am I doing? Come on, get over here. We need to get going. I don't have a feeling that I'm going to die anytime soon, so I'm not going to save. And I know that's probably a stupid move, but it's fine, it's fine. I'll live. You know, I can manage. <laughs> Besides, if I die, we're cutting immediately. Yes, he did just make fireworks. So you can actually tell him to transmute things as well. I feel like the role is... I feel like the roll is a better form of mobility. I don't know, it just feels like that. By the way, to switch to switch characters, you just use select. That's a select. That that's that's your button. But anyway, dude, let's get going. I'ma need you stand there. Do not move because I swear to God, if you don't tell him to stay there, he will walk towards you. And he will go in the fire and burn himself to death. Possibly, if you're not, you know, smart enough to tell him, bruh, get moving. Well, no, that is if you don't switch characters. Because if you tell him to get moving, he's going to keep running towards you. And if you make him stop, he's probably just going to get burned. And then stand right in front of the fire only to get burned again. It's pretty jank sometimes, you know. I, I will admit that. <laughs> hey, Al, grab that. Oh, no, he's going to transmute it into something else. Thank you. These items are very helpful, as in... They will probably guide you through the game until you, you know, get all your stuff together. But yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, start grabbing these items because I'm gonna need them. Like, I'm really gonna need them to heal up. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But. I'm not using a camera translator either, so, you know. Like, last time, I did. So. Like, I'm operating off of purely, you know, muscle memory at this point. Because I've played the game so much that it just feels right. By the way, there is no way to actually do this unless you have a real dual shock, because... This was a mechanic that was in Full Metal Alchemist 2, and you rarely saw me use it because, well, one, I don't know what's up with like third-party controllers, but there's some sort of input delay. But if you if you use the Accu Strike mechanic, basically, you time your button presses correctly, and you get more damage. It, it, it sounds simple, right? Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> So if you have a third-party controller, you probably won't be able to use this. By the way, <laughs> Alphonse can totally, like, blast you into oblivion. So stay out of the range of cannon fire. Um, that, that's just, you know, a, a thing for me. And they also replaced... Oh, I didn't mention this. They replaced... Okay, so usually in Full Metal Alchemist 2... Ah! In Full Metal Alchemist 2, you can make a wall, right? You can make those walls by just simply tapping circle. They mapped it to its own, you know, they mapped it to its own slot, its own weapon slot this time around. So it's not like, a hey, dude, get off of that joint. Let's go. <laughs> so it's in its own weapon slot so that you don't just, you know, press circle to build a wall every time. 
because in the middle of combat, you typically press circle to bring up spikes. You know, like that's in both games, except for the fact that, well, obviously building a wall. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna build a great wall. <laughs> oh God. Uh, but seriously, it's, 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 it's kind of hard to explain. It's really hard to explain to people who haven't played the other games. But ho hopefully you have. Like, they're great games. You can pick them up for relatively cheap. Fullmetal Alchemist 3 is about $5 on Amazon. Fullmetal Alchemist 2 could be 4 3 or 5 <laughs> It depends on what condition you want it in. But I tend to get my games with, you know, the manuals, cases, and all that. You know, normal stuff, box art. Obviously the disc as well, but you know Sometimes you can't win them all Full Metal Alchemist 1 was one of those losses that I mourned because I'm like god dang it the box art was so cool But you know how Japanese games are they they have posters, you know, they come with posters and stuff So that was pretty nice. Oh by the way, did I forget to mention you can charge these to deal more damage. Okay, yeah, jumping in the air and kicking is also a thing that you'll probably need if, you know, you don't have, well, the strategies on hand, like I do. But, yeah, I think that's a good run through of how the game works. This part is literally just to introduce you to the game and its mechanics, as well as, well, getting through the story, obviously. Yo, hit me! HIT ME! Hit me, my boy. Hit me, boy. You can also use those. You can also use alchemy, too. I'm hesitant to use the sword on him, because, well, guess what? If I use the sword... Because he's weak to this, by the way. See? Like, look at that. That took him out easily, right? But the problem is, I'm very slow. And there's a wind-up period to these. Just like how they have them. So you'd be better off jumping in the air and slashing? See? <laughs> I just countered him into a hit. Like... See, like, sometimes you can just miss it completely. And that is another problem with having these, you know, this sword specifically. So I want to say using the hammer, using the hammer has the same amount of wind up, but it, you know, it has the Accu Strike. The Accu Strike is very hard to time with the, you know, the sword, but with the hammer, it's easy. So I want to say bash them with the hammer. Wait, I want to test something here, because I've never used the hammer in this way before. God dang, that murders these fools. Ugh. That does. Holy crap. I can't believe I didn't show off the lock-on feature yet. Like, it's nothing new, but I'm just walking the time. You know what? Let me show off. Not this one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm using the wrong weapon. There we go. Now, what I tend to do with these items is boost only me. Yeah, I'm serious about this. I only boost myself because Al, he doesn't have a lot of uses in this game. Well, not a lot of uses for a player one, though. Like, you know, occasionally you switch to him. But most of the time, he's not preferable. He is not. He is never preferable to play as. So he's sort of like Tails. You know, like, Edisonic Alice Tails. That's the best comparison I have. Okay, so what that does is... See, look, look. It boosts my experience. 
it boosts my experience to do that, to just get multiple hits. So that sort of helped me there, you know? <gasps> it helps me get, like, points when I level up so I can, you know, upgrade my strength and stuff. Hey, sir, you got anything for me? None? Alrighty. One thing I wish people would do, one thing I wish they would do is translate this. Like, I, I really, really, I'd really, really like a translation so I'd know exactly what's going on here. But that's not happening. You got anything for me? No? Alright. That's good. You got something for me? Thank you. Yet again, I do not need to level up. Whoa, no, what the? Did I just say level up? <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to say that. Anyway, we're going to allocate our, you know, our skill points now. I believe I, I believe I put two in this slot. I believe I put two in those slots every single time. I'd have to check on that because if I'm leveling the wrong stats and my attack power doesn't go up, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. But uh, For a matter of fact, let me pull out my phone and just get on that after we beat this. Mm-mm. So yeah, they got they got Winry cornered, and you know what we have to do? We have to save her, obviously. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. It feels so good playing this game. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but I have to. God dang, she screams bloody murder, <laughs> like. Every time. I don't know what they're saying. The name doesn't even sound right. They literally like, I don't get it. It sounds like gibberish to me every time they say her name. You know what? Let me show this off. I mean, you have, you've already seen this in Full Metal Alchemist 2 if you've seen my playthrough. It's also in the first game. Come on. Ow, ow, ow. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Okay, I got cornered in between these two. <laughs> let me, let me fix this. Oh my god, the hammer is quicker than them. Yeah, the hammer is the best option because you can strike faster than they can, you know, hit you. Aw, oh, crap, I didn't pick up that item off the ground. Whatever. Oh, what? You're running in and trying to get us? Bring it. You? Oh no, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. There are two waves of enemies that show up. There are two waves of enemies that show up. So. Oh my god, this hammer is just like annihilating these boys. Get up, Al. I need you. Well, I don't, I don't need you, per se, but I need you. One, two. They take four hits. They take two hits to die. That's good. And I'm pretty sure if I took the sword, they'd die, you know, even quicker. Oh, 
Oh crap, I'm in the wrong direction. I'm facing the wrong direction. <laughs> she alright, boy. She's just gonna complain, like, bro, why weren't you there when they showed up? Or, or something like that. You know how Winry is. She's like backwards in her logic. It's like, yo, why were you not there to save me? You didn't know I was in danger, did you? And it's like, bro, we ran all the way here just to save you. Yeah, we knew you were in danger. <laughs> we just showed up, you know, we just showed up a few seconds late. That's it. Now, I've been... Uh, I don't want to say I've been learning Japanese, but I've been translating lately. Like, you know those comic dubs that I put on my channel? I translate those. Literally, I, I, I translate chapters of manga and I just, like, put them together, right? I still don't have any idea what they're saying. <laughs> That's how bad it is. And... Oh my god. How I do this is, I run it through multiple translators, like, I want to say three translators, then I try to get my best gauge of context, but anyway, cutscene time. Basically she's the avatar, she's the avatar and they want her power. So of course, us, being the heroes we are, we gotta save it. And of course, Iceman about to... Well, he ain't about to. He about to try to wreck us. But you know what happens, right? He runs away. <laughs> I like the villains. I really like the villains of this game. <laughs> By the way, we're in like Russia right now. Yeah. He set fire to her daddy. Avatar powers activate. She's in the avatar state. Oh my god. Ugh. Everybody gonna die. I'm joking. She's not about to kill everybody. No. <laughs> she just has, you know, the force. She has a force field, guys. Don't worry about it. I, I really would compare her powers to like the Avatar, like this isn't like a Super Saiyan transformation or anything, that's like the Avatar state. <laughs> See, like, Super Saiyans don't pass out. It's literally the Avatar state, bro. Like, you turn a color. Your eyes go white, and you go to sleep. <laughs> you tap into your hidden power for a little bit. It... Yes, that mark is something that will be important later on. Don't forget it. Anyway, we're going back to the church. <laughs> um, This might have been a reason why the game wasn't, you know, brought over. To the states because it has religion is very hard to like hop over with this game compared to like the second one in the first one but it's there trust me but i really do wonder if they brought this game over 
I'm pretty sure they would have kept the religious elements. It, it, it couldn't have been that, but people have been speculating that that is why. But, I don't know. It might have just been too late in the PS2's lifespan. But that's a lie, considering, well, Full Metal Alchemist 1 and Full Metal Alchemist 2 came out, believe it or not, believe it or not, I think they came out on the same day in America. <laughs> like, like, how does that work? Like, that's probably what you're asking, but... Yeah, that's the thing. They came out... I want to say Full Metal Alchemist 1 came out... A year before Full Metal Alchemist 2 in Japan. But over here, the release was crazy. Like, I think they released... They released either in the same day, same month, or... Same day, you know. I already said that. Same day, same month, or same week. Like, the releases weren't too far apart. It's crazy how that happened. Like, Full Metal Alchemist 2 came with, you know, a DVD containing the first two episodes of the second season of the 2003 series. So, that should give you a frame of reference for all of this. But yeah, so far, what's going on here is... We got them god powers. <laughs>。ね、話だけでもしてみてくれないかな。Ba basically, we're getting to know her, and her name is Sophie, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Yeah, but... It's almost over. <laughs> and I'm guessing... I'm guessing they're just arguing. I guess they're arguing about his height or something. It's something like that. I love these portraits. I really do. <laughs> you can tell these portraits were reused from Fumato Alchemist 2. But, they look better, actually. Like, they changed a few things about the images, per se. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I... I, 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 I... I kind of like Sophie a lot, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know. She's just, a, she's just a character that you know. I think it also goes into one of the mechanics of the game why I like her so much, because, well, maybe I shouldn't explain that right now, but there are mechanics that you have to use. Uh, basically, this is. The God Power Manual or something? I don't know. Bible? <laughs> Holy Bible? I, I really can't read this, so I'm guessing. <laughs> but yeah, the Instructor's Manual is a... Oh, yeah. Okay, I should probably explain this now because she's already got her jacket off. Well, basically, you go into her, you know, this... <laughs> you go up to her, you talk to her, and you give her items. That's how that goes. And I don't want to say happy points because that's like an Animal Crossing thing, <laughs> but that's essentially what you get. And you unlock items from that. But yeah, let's pick this up off the floor real quick. 
if the this is my collection of plates cats and things that i've collected as well as a dog yes the dog sits there forever it does not move <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna have to call it a day on this part thank you for watching i will see you next time